Kogia, Lelouch of the Rebellion, is often praised as having one of the best endings in all of anime. This is entirely due to Lelouch's Zero Requiem plan. Zero Requiem is of course the plan created by Lelouch after the death of his father Charles V. Britannia and his mother Marianne V. Britannia. The plan was relatively simple. Suzaku and Lelouch would take over the world with Lelouch becoming the dictator that rules over the entire planet and have all the world's hatred directed at him. Suzaku Kurugi would die in battle and take up the role of Zero. Then, one month later, during the public execution of Nanali and the Black Knight, Zero would appear and kill Lelouch v Britannia, and thus the entire world would have been united by their shared hatred of the demon emperor Lelouch v Britannia. But there's more to the Zero Requiem narratively than that. What is the true meaning of the Zero Requiem? The first and most important thing to remember are Lelouchic words is Zero during the debut of the Black Knight. I will not repudiate battle on a fair and level field. But neither will I tolerate a one-sided massacre of the weak by the strong. The only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. The only ones who should kill are those prepared to be killed. Throughout the story, Lelouch uses tactics that are incredibly questionable morally. He is also responsible for the death of countless Japanese citizens due to the order given to Yuffie by him to kill all the Japanese regardless of whether or not it was an accident. It is also worth noting that Lelouch and Zero, along with the help of the Black Knight, killed many Britannian soldiers. He also, at least to an extent, did use the Black Knight to help him accomplish his goal. While he did wish to liberate Japan, it was not his main goal. However, he did lead the Black Knight to believe that his main goal was to liberate Japan. He also killed his brother, Clovis, in cold blood in order to prevent him from killing more innocent Japanese citizens. Going along with his statement during the debut of the Black Knight, Lelouch was prepared to die for all his horrible actions. Lelouch had killed people, therefore in his eyes, he had to be prepared to die himself. The one thing he cared about most, Nanali, was safe at long last. There was nothing that could hurt her once he was dead, so he no longer had to worry about her safety. So, Lelouch committed countless horrible crimes, but that begs the question. Do the ends justify the means? In general, the question of whether or not the ends justify the means is a circumstantial question with a circumstantial answer. It all depends on what means are used to achieve what end, and the context of the situation of the person using these means is in. In the Lucian case, I would say yes, the ends do justify the means. The Holy Britannian Empire was an evil, evil empire with evil, corrupt, racist beliefs that needed to be put down. An empire that legalized discrimination against people that are not Britannian. Would an emperor that believes inequality is just. Much like our own world, war was a constant problem in the world of Kogia. Death, murder, discrimination, these were all issues that the world faced that Lelouch wanted to end. He wanted to create a gentle, kind world that his sister could live happily in. He was able to achieve world peace by becoming the enemy that everybody hated. The entire world stopped discriminating and hating each other to unite against him. Race, religion, gender, nationality, none of that mattered because everybody had one thing in common. They all hated the demon emperor Lelouch V. Britannia and wanted him dead. And then when Zero, a symbol of democracy, justice, and equality killed Lelouch and became the savior of the world, the entire world could rally behind Zero and in return rally behind the United Federation of Nations and the Black Knight. This allowed the world to focus on solving other problems like global warming and world hunger and poverty. While somewhat unrealistic, it is safe to say that with such an amazing outcome, you could say that the end did justify the means. So assuming Lelouch was justified in using the means he did to achieve his goals, then that begs the question, what does Zero Requiem mean for his character? Zero Requiem is the follow through on his words from the episode where he debuted his Black Knight. Lelouch, both as Lelouch and as Zero, did horrible things and killed easily over a million people altogether. 
But what makes Zero Requiem so beautiful is that Lelouch was willing to follow through on his words back in Episode 8 when the Black Knight debuted and was prepared to die for he had killed others. The moment he killed those Britannian soldiers in Episode 1 by commanding them to die with a Gia, he was prepared to die himself. This was Lelouch's atonement for his crime. Most of the time, people in Lelouch's mindset that the only ones who should kill are the ones prepared to be killed don't actually end up dying. Zero Requiem is not just a plan to achieve world peace, but it is also Lucius' atonement for all his horrible actions at Zero and at the Emperor Britannia. Zero Requiem is about atonement. In a similar vein, Suzaku must atone for his sins by continuing to live on not as Suzaku Kurarugi, but as Zero symbol of justice and equality. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below if you want to keep up with the date with me and the future video topics. And above all else, guys, have a great day.